Did you know that the first American submarine was actually used in the American Revolution? Seventeen seventy six. America has just begun to fight for their freedom from Britain. Backed by his governor Jonathan Trumbull, Connecticut inventor David Bushnell was given funding by George Washington to develop the first submarine ever used in combat. While studying at Yale, Bushnell theorized, then proved, that gunpowder could be exploded underwater. He used this idea to team up with wealthy New Haven inventor Isaac Doolittle to create the first known instances of both the time bomb and the propeller, now commonly used on ships and subs alike today. He combined these elements into the turtle, named for the way it looked as it glided through the water. The turtle, also known as the American turtle, was designed as a one-man powered submersible able to attach time-release bombs to the hulls of enemy ships using a hand-powered drill and ship auger bit. It was constructed completely of oak wood and with wrought iron casting, very similar to a barrel, with glass panes at the top to let natural light seep in. A very small craft, only about 10 feet long, 6 feet tall, and 3 feet wide, the turtle was only designed to hold one person and stay submerged for about 30 minutes before they would have to resurface for air. Unfortunately, while impressive in theory, the turtle ultimately failed in all military efforts. Several attacks were made using the turtle, but none actually caused enemy ships to sink, mostly due to the fact that the turtle was unable to stay underwater long enough to drill holes for the bombs in enemy ships. George Washington himself was quoted as saying the turtle was an effort of genius, but a combination of too many things was requisite for such an attempt to succeed. While the true fate of the turtle is unknown, it is believed to have been lost mid-transport aboard a sloop sunk by British frigates leaving Bloomingdale. Although it was unsuccessful, the turtle is truly an example of the American determination and perseverance in the face of adversity. I truly hope you enjoyed learning about one of America's first submersible vessels. Happy Independence Day! Please subscribe to Galveston Naval Museum on YouTube. We are having a subscriber drive this summer with the goal of adding 1,000 new subscribers. Make sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell to be alerted to new educational, historic, and memorial videos every month. Thank you so much.